All right, so we're here with Jason Jacobs from RunKeeper, who's got this uh, this iPhone application that's been out for a little while. Something to do with GPS and exercise, which you know is out of my range of knowledge. So I'll let Jason show you what it's all about. Hi everybody, how you doing? Uh, my name is Jason Jacobs. I'm the founder of a company called Fitness Keeper, and this is our flagship application called RunKeeper, uh, which we built and launched on the new 3G iPhone. And I've got the iPhone here, as you can see. So this is our application. And what it does is it en enables you, if you're a, a fitness enthusiast, to track any of your outdoor fitness activities, whether it be running or cycling or walking or uh, really any, anything that uses a... Uh, um, the GPS to, to give you distance and speed and pace and time and, Cr and path traveled on a map. Crawling blurry-eyed to get my morning coffee. I can do that as I'm kind of stumbling out of my house trying to get to the coffee shop. Does you, that count? You can indeed. Whether you're getting coffee, whether you're taking the dog for a walk, or you're running a marathon, what we've enabled you to do is rather than go out and buy a separate device like a GPS watch, for example, you can take the iPhone, which you presumably already own, and you can uh, download our application and it will turn the iPhone into a GPS watch equivalent. So what will it, uh, what will it do once I have it loaded up? And, and let's pretend that I'm more active than I am and I, and I jog, I run every day. What will it do for me while I'm running? Uh, what it will do is if you hit the start button here while you're running, it will give you the total time that's elapsed, the total distance that's elapsed, your speed over the course of the run, whoops, I hit the button here, or your pace per mile. When you finish the run, you can hit the stop button and you can either save the trip or discard it. If you save the trip, it sends all of the data to our web dashboard, which I can show you. And, and obviously, I don't have to be running. I could be cycling or ski, cross-country skiing or hang gliding or, or whatever, as long as I'm moving. Absolutely. Uh, anything that's that's outdoors, since it does use the GPS, it requires you to be outdoors so you can get a connection to the satellite. But so, uh, so mall walkers, you're you're out of luck. I'm sorry. For now, um, for now. Al al although we are, we are th uh, roadmap uh, down the line, there's an opportunity to do things like uh, um, integrate an accelerometer so that if you're indoors or outside of line of sight to the satellites, uh, you could track your steps. But that's a that's a roadmap thing. Uh, today we're we're satellites only. I try to make stupid jokes, but these guys are three steps ahead of me, which is which is why I report and you develop. So, <laughs> so let's see the web dashboard. Okay, so this is the web dashboard, um, and and as you can see, so the green represents where I started my route. So if you follow the route around, you can see the mile markers. So mile one, mile two, mile three, mile four. Um, this gray marker is where I actually hit the pause button uh, because I, I finished my route and then I hit the stop button here so it doesn't pick up wh when you paused intentionally. Um, if I were to have resumed there, it would have kept going. And, and you can see in the summary data that this was a 4.18 mile route. It took me 41 minutes and 13 seconds. My pace per mile was 9 minutes and 52 seconds. And my average speed was... 6.08 miles. I couldn't see with the with the reflection, and then you've got the time and the date. These are all of my historical runs, and um, so I can I can save my whole kind of running log of all my my runs I've done over the past week or month or however long. Exactly. Whether it's a run or a ride or a walk, anytime you use the GPS to collect your fitness data, um, you you can save it on your personal web dashboard. Very cool. So. Um, this is, is this available now, is this through the App Store or unlocked or how is this available? Uh, this is available through the App Store. It's a native application. It's been out for four weeks. You can see our website at runkeeper.com or we're available in the health and fitness section and the application is called Runkeeper. And uh, what does it cost? It costs $9.99. It's a one-time download and then you get all incremental updates uh, for free. And it's not just iPhone 3G. If I have a, like me, if you have an older iPhone but you've updated the new software, you can download it and run it, or does it need the GPS chip? 
You could technically download it and run it, but we do not recommend it. Uh, the older iPhone uses the Skyhook technology, the, um, the Wi-Fi triangulation, and to, to get the degree of precision that most fitness enthusiasts care about, you really need the GPS, which is uh, 3G only, unfortunately. Now, if you look at the two of us, Jason's clearly the fitness enthusiast, if you just look at our, you know. So for me, that imprecision might actually be a benefit because maybe it'll it'll be erroneous and say that I ran 30 miles when obviously I can only run you know a hundred feet before I fall over it uh, I'm just being stupid well and to follow with the theme of, of you making a joke and me making a, a serious counter the <laughs> the, um, the, the Wi-Fi triangulation may be interesting for things like um, the, some of the social networking features that will build in on the roadmap so what other runners are in my area what other routes are in my zip code uh, you know things of that nature nature that don't require the same degree of precision, but for the actual tracking of your activity, it does require the GPS. But in all seriousness though, something like this, you don't necessarily need to buy the whole Nike plus iPod kit and deal with a transmitter and all that stuff. You've got the GPS, you guys wrote what looks like some clever software. It can track my workouts, I can save them to the web, I can log all my runs, you know, keep my pace, keep my time, all that stuff. Looks like this is everything we need. But, and, that, and that's what we envision when we built the product is uh, really, you've got the device, it's in your pocket already, why do you need another technology or another whole device when you can take the device in your pocket and have it do the same thing with our application? Now, the, the big question, will this run while I'm listening to iTunes? Absolutely. So um, the, the way that the SDK is built, you cannot run third-party applications concurrently except for the iPod. So you can play the iPod in the background. You can change tracks in our application by double-clicking the home button um, during the song. So you can actually change stations um, or change tracks, rather, as you go, which, of course, uh, for a, a, an iPod user is, is important when you're running. You don't have to give up your Celine Dion to track how far you've run. Awesome. So again, tell us the name. It's Run. Keeper. Runkeeper.com is our website, and Fitness Keeper is our company. And over time, we plan on launching several other products at the convergence of fitness and technology. But this is our flagship product, and it's available today. All right. Awesome. Jason, thank you so much. Good luck with the company. Thank you. Thank you for having me.